Imagine that snare. Pow! What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Groovy Thursdays and Happy New Year. We made it to 2023. Wow. 2022 was crazy. A lot of stuff going on. But now we're in a new year and the groove is going to go on. And I'm so happy you're here with me. I'm so happy you're here with me to celebrate more grooving drumming. This week, we have some great grooves to talk about. Three great grooves from the drummer Pat Torpy. Pat was the drummer for the band Mr. Big. Now, if you've never heard of Mr. Big, definitely jump out there onto Spotify or anywhere you get your music, anywhere you listen to your music, and check out the band because it's great rock and roll music. Billy Sheehan on bass, Paul Gilbert on guitar, Eric Martin singing, and of course, Pat playing drums. Pat was a serious rock and roll drummer, a hard hitter, but he was also super technical too. Depended on the song he was playing, but he could do it all. The guy was really versatile. Now I'm speaking about Pat in the past tense because unfortunately Pat left us back in 2018 from complications from Parkinson's disease, which is a total drag. He left us way too young and it's just, it's really sad, right? But even with that being said, as sad as it is, he gave us a great gift of his music and his drumming, and there's a lot to learn from Pat's drumming, so let's get into it. The first groove I'm gonna get into today is from the song Take Cover from the band's record, Hey Man, and this is a really fun linear groove. It stays the same pretty much throughout the whole song. The only change is he goes up to the ride cymbal on the groove in a drum break, but the groove is exactly the same when he switches to the ride cymbal. You're utilizing your floor tom, kick drum, and snare drum. Now, I've seen Pat do this live on YouTube, there's some great footage of this song, and he's keeping time with his left foot, so that adds something to the groove. Um, the way I did it, I'm not keeping time with my left foot. It's not totally necessary, I don't think, because you don't really hear it in the song, but it is fun to get that coordination down if you can do it. All the grooves today are in 4-4 four, four times, so pretty simple in time signature terms. This groove is one bar long, repeated over and over and over again, so once you get it down, get into the zen of it all and really concentrate on that backbeat. The snare drum needs to be nice and loud with a great cracking rim shot, pow, every time. And then the rest, you gotta get into the flow of it all and just try to keep it in the pocket the best you can. The groove is all 16th notes, the whole bar, every beat, all four 16th notes in every beat. And let's just talk through it really quickly here. The snare drum falls on two and four of every beat, so your typical backbeat. Now let's talk through each beat real quick and what's going on. The first beat is kick, floor, floor, kick. Kick, floor, floor, kick, okay? Second beat, snare, floor, kick, floor. Snare, floor, kick, floor, like that. Third beat is floor, kick, kick, floor. And the fourth beat is snare, floor, floor, kick. But I want you to check out a couple interesting things here about this pattern. The first beat, right, is kick, floor, floor, kick. The third beat is floor, kick, kick, floor. So it's just opposite, it's like a mirror image. Okay, so that's a cool thing. The doubles that happen on the floor tom are the two strokes in a row. In that first beat, it's on the E and the and, right? The two middle 16th notes. Then it switches and it's on the last 16th note of beat two. So the uh and right on beat three, the downbeat of beat three. So just like displaced over by one 16th note, that's cool. And then on beat four, it's back to being the middle two 16th notes. And then the doubles on the kick drum. When the groove starts out, you play right on the downbeat of beat one, but then there's a double on the two middle 16th notes of beat three. And then the double happens on the kick drum again when the groove repeats. So the last 16th note of beat four and then the downbeat of beat one. It's just cool how these little doubles, these double strokes on the right hand of your floor tom or on the kick drum are just being moved around by a 16th note here and there. It's really creative. And then the back beats on two and four with your snare drum and then the floor tom and kick drum percolating underneath that, man, it's a really cool groove and fun to play. So take it slow at first, get the coordination down, make sure your two and four are nice and in the pocket and then build up the tempo like you do with any harder groove. The next thing to do is to move the floor tom part to somewhere else on your kit. Like I said earlier, it goes to the ride cymbal at one section of the tune, there's a drum breakdown. But what this does is when you switch one part of the groove to somewhere else on the kit, the sound difference to your ear can mess up your brain and kind of make the pattern fall apart. So you really wanna get your body used to playing the pattern no matter where you are on the kit. It's a good practice tool. All right, let's get on to groove number two. Whoa, what's going on? Huh? 
it comes. Wait for it. Here we go. It's <laughs> taking a long time. Really cool, simple, but so much fun to play. All you're doing here is going back and forth from the kick drum to the snare drum, one and three on the kick, two and four on the snare. You're filling up the rest of the eighth notes with your off hand, your hi-hat hand, whatever you want to call it, on the snare drum. They're not really ghost notes though. They're definitely softer than the backbeat, but they're not too soft. You want to hear them because it's really driving that groove forward. So, and then one and three on the kick, boom, ka, boom, ka. Super simple, but super energetic. And when you play it at the tempo that this song is at, man, it's just got some life to it. And the way Pat hits the drums, that's the key. And that's what we want to kind of learn from. What we want to try to do is to hit the drums with the energy that he gave the song. And if you can do that and then take that kind of energy and that knowledge into your other rock and roll playing, man, you got a really good thing going there. And last but not least is a song that definitely brings in the speed and the technical ability of Pat's drumming. It's fast, it's rock and roll, and it's Colorado Bulldog. Here we go. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Woo! We're running out the groove yet. Here we go. Oh! Yeah! Woo! Ah! Oh yeah! Oh! 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 <laughs> this kind of drumming is so much fun to do. You've probably heard this groove before. It's got the the sort of hot for teacher vibe to it. But if you can get this pattern down and you can play it at this tempo. And if you can play it for four minutes or the length of the tune, the tune is four minutes and 13 seconds long. Boy, you got something. You must be in good shape because it's really hard to keep that up for that long. The snare drum lands on two and four. The ride cymbal is playing all the quarter notes just really fast. The tempo is like at 270 or something, so it's pretty fast. And then you have the galloping kick drum. Remember, this is swung. This is not straight. The kick drum's not going. It's going. There's a think of a horse going down the road, right? Not like a machine gun. It's galloping. I'm starting with my right foot, so I go right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. I don't think that's wrong. If you can get it starting on your left foot, whatever. I don't think it matters, but as long as it's grooving, right? But I'm starting with my right foot, and what happens is that your left foot, when it hits the kick drum, one time it'll be at the same time as your ride cymbal, so opposites, right? Your left foot and your right hand. And then the next time when you hit the snare drum, it's your left side that's together, so it's left foot and left hand. So it goes opposite and then together, opposite and together. So it's really easy to flam between your kick drum and your ride cymbal and your kick drum and your snare. But since you're playing it at such a fast tempo, little tiny flams like that you won't hear as much as if you're playing this groove slower. So definitely play this groove slow and concentrate on when that left foot hits the kick drum along with the ride cymbal that they're totally together. And when that left drum hits the kick drum with the snare drum, they're totally together. That's, that's a really goal to try to achieve with a groove like this. And there you go, three great Pat Torpy drum grooves to bring us into 2023. Some nice rock and roll to get the year started. If you like what's going on here at Groovy Thursdays, I ask that you like this video, share it with all your friends, subscribe to the channel, bring on the comments and suggestions for future grooves, and I hope to see you all here again. Cheers, everybody.